oh, 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 Taylor. What up? I have some bad news. Oh, no. Today is April 1st. I know. So, I want to be the first person to say, happy birthday, Grandma Sue. Yes. Boom. Before your (laughs) own grandson. Before your real grandson. I'm like the adopted grandson and obviously better. (laughs) If, If this podcast says anything or sounds anything like I'm not the first person to say happy birthday, Alan changed my words around. <laughs> you know, I can cut all of that out, right? I'm going to say it nonstop throughout the entire <laughs> podcast. It's also Easter, and it's also April Fool's Day. This is true. But the reason I even brought it up was because our competition for March is over. And you won. Oh, that's right. Of course I won. (laughs) Which means you get to choose a movie to make me watch. You had mentioned you had already picked one out, and I want to know. I've had one in mind since the whole idea came came about. Now, I don't really know anything about this movie. Okay. I haven't seen it. (laughs) I know it's – I think it's from the 80s. Oh, Let me see if I – it's it's a horror movie and it nice. just looks really really horrible. Well, it being a horror movie makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, it's it, it it's not that I want you to be scared. I don't think that's going to no. be an issue. I think it Oh, it's just I just see the the, the first picture on IMDb and it makes my <laughs> stomach ill. <laughs> Because I, I don't fully comprehend it, and I need you to watch it and then tell me about it. All right. Well, I need to know what the name of it is. You're going to. So, this movie is called Basket Case. It's from 1982. Basket case. I'm going to send you a link to it right now. All right. I can just look it up. I'm already on. 1982, Kevin Van Hetterick. Um, yep, that's it. Kevin Van Hintrick? Hintrick? A young man carrying a big basket that contains his extremely deformed Siamese twin brother (laughs) seeks vengeance (laughs) on the doctors who separated them against their will. Oh my goodness. Can you see the actual picture of the the thing in the basket? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What is going on? I don't understand it. It looks nauseating. (laughs) It is classified as comedy horror. So I I feel, I feel a lot better about this than, uh, it's also got a 6.1 on, uh, IMDb, which is pretty good. Yeah, but that's probably weird people. (laughs) I'm not, I'm not too worried, but, uh, yeah, so I'll watch this and I will report back. Oh my gosh. It just, I don't know. Someone had mi- I heard this movie mentioned on a podcast like five years ago. Yeah, and I looked it up, and I was like, "This is the worst looking thing that it." <laughs> oh my gosh! Like, I want to like throw up just looking at this picture of this thing. Yeah, I'm, it, it looks pretty bad. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear what you have to say about it. <laughs> uh, another thing, the main thing that I intended to talk yes. to you about. All that other stuff just kept popping in my head. Uh, Roseanne came back on the TV. Roseanne is back. And I know you said you hadn't watched the show yet, but you've watched the original before, right? Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I've seen most of it. It was, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Did you like it back then? Um, I didn't really understand it. Yeah. Kind of. Well, I, yeah. I, for the most part, I did. It was kind of. I don't know. It's hard to explain other than I guess, yeah, I just didn't really understand most of it, but my parents liked it at Mm. the time. Yeah. So here's the thing about Roseanne, and I should probably clear this up with my mom because I'm really confused. I I have like a a very strong memory of them really liking this show. Yeah. And then I remember they even recorded, there was like a Halloween special episode. Uh Uh-huh. And they like recorded it on VHS, and I think that's the actual the first episode that I ever saw. 
and we watched it a bunch of times, like me and Joshua, just because we had it. <laughs> yeah. But then all of a sudden, I remember my mom not liking it. So I don't know what happened. I don't know. She got like offended by Roseanne, probably. That's my guess. Uh, probably about so, the same time you weren't allowed to watch Pokemon. If I had to guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Because as a lot of people don't know, the characters in Roseanne also evolve. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so I don't actually know if my parents liked it. I have no idea. I don't have any gauge to know what your parents liked or didn't like. Uh, this is true. They've never, they've never seemed to like things that I was aware of. Like they only I, like shows that have like initials in them. I feel like Doctor Quinn. NCIS. Oh, and yeah, more initials. <laughs> Dr. Uh, that was a great show. <laughs> Uh, Little yeah, House on the Asian. Prairie, is that up there? Or is that too? I don't old? know. My mom never really talked about that one. My Anna, dad lived that one. <laughs> Anne of Green Gables, I'm sure is oh, up there. Gosh. Oh, that's like my mom's favorite movie ever. Um, no, yeah. So Roseanne came back, and I watched the first two episodes because they did the f- two came out in the beginning. Okay. And it it's got a, a really interesting premise that is they're kind of um it's almost like a time travel period piece in a way because roseanne Uh and dan have not really changed their personalities they've not really changed their views their family values are pretty consistent from what i remember you know what i mean like they seem yeah very much just plucked out of the original show and put into this one but the family surrounding them is all very different. So like one of the grandkids, uh, he's a boy, but he likes to wear girls clothes. Uh, another one is there. Uh, his, the son's daughter is black. Um, the Roseanne's sister is a Hillary supporter. She Roseanne is a Trump supporter. Like all this stuff. There's like all these like conflicts that are more societal, norms are like more normal in society right now or right like that occur more often and it, i just like oh this would be really interesting to see their view on all this stuff from the perspective yeah. of you know 25 years ago right the problem is it's a sitcom and it's yeah. shot exactly how it was shot 25 years ago so there's still have a laugh track yes there's a laugh track. It's all lit really brightly. Like it's the laugh track is better than it used to be. They've at least re- recorded new sounds. <laughs> they got a couple new people to laugh for. <laughs> yeah. And it it says that it's recorded in in front of a live studio audience, but I I, I don't buy that the laughs are from them. I I think yeah. those are laugh that's a laugh track added in over cuz the there's the weird pauses. If you took out the laugh track there's long pauses between each joke and there's like a, almost like a quota of jokes per minute. And it's just kind of exhausting. Like it's like the whole show, the premise is super interesting, but the way they're handling it is so exhausting that it's not very fun to watch. Yeah. That's yeah. See, that's the problem with these, these revival shows is that, they try to capture what they had, you know, back whenever they first aired, which is great because that's what made you popular. But also, that style's not really the style anymore, mm-hmm. so it's it's off putting. Yeah, um, I felt the same way with the the Fuller House. Oh, Fuller House uh, is not, the worst. Not so much, not so much with the style, but more like just with the the writing in general. Like I feel like they probably have the exact same writers from before. Mm writing the same since the same type of jokes and same things. And it's just not, it's not good anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Fuller, Fuller house. When I look at that, that feels like a reaction to things like breaking bad of like, we need to make TV family TV wholesome again. And so, (laughs) you know what I mean? This is our rebuttal to breaking bad. (laughs) Yeah. Essentially like, 
we need to make it so the family can get together and watch together. And it's just, it's, I don't know. It has to be interesting. I don't even think kids would like it. Yeah, that's probably not. I think, I don't know. Do you think that Fuller House has any new fans that didn't ever watch Full House? It's got to only be carryovers. I, right? Well, that's- I would imagine that there's people who loved uh, Full House that love Fuller House that have indoctrinated their children to enjoy Fuller House as well. Mm. That could be. It's like a cult. Do you think Bob? Do you think Bob Saget actually likes Fuller House or even Full House? Uh, I think he likes the money. I don't think he likes Danny Tanner. No, because it's like the complete opposite of who he is. Yeah, well, I think that's why just, his comedy is so aggressively not that to try to separate himself. At what point in your life did you realize that his comedy is is very different from his character on Full House? Probably like five years ago. I don't know. I feel like it was more recent, but he also was never really on my radar. Yeah, and it's like it's so. You know what it was? Opposite. I think it was in the Aristocrats. I was gonna say that's. That's so. That's like high school when my world was shattered. <laughs> the, there's a documentary the Arist- yeah. called "The Aristocrats" that is all about the world's dirtiest joke, and it's not very funny. The, the idea no. of it's not very funny. I mean, the the joke, the funny part is how disgustingly far are you willing to go in this joke? Like how how uncomfortable are you willing to try to make someone else? That's the joke. But the structure yep. of the joke isn't really funny. Yeah, it's not really supposed to be funny. No. Yeah, it's just it's intended to make you uncomfortable. And he does that. <laughs> um, and I, so I we, remember like it felt so strange. I had no idea that he wasn't essentially a real life Danny Tanner. Well, because he Cause also he, did yeah. uh, America's Funniest Home Videos, and he was very similar in that aspect. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I grew up watching both of those daily. So that was that was eye opening. <laughs> um, did we talk about Cobra Kai at all? No, we have not. I feel like I talked with someone. So if if I repeat what I'm about to say at another point, I apologize. But um, Cobra Kai is the remake of the karate kid have you or seen just more like a sequel right yeah, yeah a continuation of the original karate kid yes um have you seen the trailers for that i've only seen the teaser trailer the first one that they came out with when it was just the two of them standing there talking to each other mm. I, I have not seen any actual footage if there is any yeah i'm actually pretty excited for that I don't have a lot of high hopes that it's going to be good. Yeah. But I think that it could be really interesting if they're willing to make Danny or Daniel, the original yeah. guy, the bad guy in this show. Oh. Because the, uh, the, what's his name? Um, the Cobra Kai guy. I can't. I don't know. Why I can't think of his name. The uh, Johnny. Yeah, Johnny. I'm trying he, to remember his name in real life, and I can't. He comes back and is kind of beat, not like down on his luck, uh, not doing great, and just kind of, kind of a dirt bag, right? But he yeah. finds like purpose again in helping these guys who are getting bullied and getting beat up and kind of outcasts um, by teaching them how to fight and showing them confidence and like are giving them confidence by learning how to fight and all this stuff. And I, yeah. I think that's a, such a cool idea. And um, I think if they make, if they're able to take Daniel and turn him into the bad guy, I think it'd be really interesting way to take the story. What I'm worried that they're going to do is, is not, is not do that. Is not do that is not being willing to do that. And it's going to be they end up partnering up about halfway yeah. through the series and then become like the yin and yang to each other that he's like aggressive yeah. and out of control and Daniel's like calm and reserved, but they both yeah, like have Mr. their Miyagi. strengths. 
and uh, yeah, they run it together. Judging, judging on only what I've seen that uh-huh. teaser trailer, I assume that that's probably what this is going to be about. Yeah, I think so. But I, I just figured, I mean, by them being on the same team instead of opposite. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. No, I agree. I think that's what I think that's the safest way to go. But I think it would be super cool if they did not do that. Yeah, I feel like the I, I I haven't seen the other Karate Kids, mm-hmm. so as far as I'm concerned, they don't even exist. It's gonna go straight from Karate Kid to this. Well, so Karate Kid Two actually picks up directly after Karate Kid One. Like he kicks a kid in the face, gets a trophy, and walks out, and then Karate Kid Two starts, and then he goes to uh, Japan oh. and continues learning. Uh, and it's not very good. It's fine. The one with um, Hillary Swank. Hillary right? Swank. Yeah, she. That's like ten years after the Karate Kid, and he's not even in it. But <laughs> learns how to be a karate master dojo guy, mm-hmm. and uh, it's not great. And the uh, Jackie Chan one, they don't even do yeah, karate. Yeah. They do kung fu, which is the most offensive part. Oh, the Kung Fu Kid. The Kung Fu Kid. Oh, yeah. So that's all the stuff that happened in my life this week. Roseanne, Cobra Kai. That is... uh, I have no words this morning. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But we do have two more episodes coming out early on Patreon, which are Wonder Woman. We finally get around to talking about Wonder Woman. And oh yeah, the Purge, the first Purge movie. The Purge. See, I feel like we talked about Wonder Woman six years ago when we talked about the Purge like two weeks ago. Yeah, it's fairly accurate. You kept uh, <laughs> canceling and recordings. <laughs> I that's I wanted these to line up perfectly. Yeah, this is a good plan. But uh, yeah, so that's that's what's coming out on our Patreon. Uh, you can go over there, patreon.com slash I seen that. If you vote for Taylor or I, you can help decide who has to pay the punishment at the end of the month. This month, or for last month, I lost, so I'm going to have to watch Basket Case. Basket Case. And I will report back on my I want. I want a live reaction video. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk Just about it. Just a off, camera facing the you the whole time that you watch this movie. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll figure that out uh, when people can't hold us to any of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know. I feel like I'm hanging up the phone. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Talk to you later. No, you, no, you hang up first. You hang up first. <laughs> One, two, three. You still there? <laughs>